All right, hi everyone, and I hope you're doing well. Um, I got a couple questions about the email, and I just wanted to take a minute to kind of go over a few things on how to use that and, uh, and make some settings changes. So we're going to dig right into this. Um, you can open up your web browser of your choice. It can be Internet Explorer, Chrome, Firefox, Safari, it doesn't matter. Um, and if you just go to webmail.supremecluster.com, you will get this uh, login window where you can log into your email. So go ahead and log in. Or rather, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and log in. I don't, you could follow along if you're really quick. Um, and then it logs you into your email, um, your webmail client here. So um, first, I want to show you how to change the skin. In other words, change how this looks. Yours probably looks different than this. Um, but you can go into settings. It's in the upper right-hand corner here. And then click on um, user interface. And then scroll down to where it says interface skin. Um, and you click on desktop skin and then select. Right there where it says select, you click on select. And then you can choose what, what skin you want. So I can change mine to Outlook here. And then save it. And my whole screen's going to change. See? Um, it looks probably more like what yours looks like here. So. Um, if we go back to the inbox, you'll, your uh, inbox will have different color schemes and be all kind of separated a little bit. So, um, of course, your your mail button is up here to check your mail. Your address book is here, um, and then your settings are here. So, we're going to go back into settings because uh, another one of the questions was how do I create a, an email signature? Okay, um, so the way we're going to do that is we're going to click on identities on the left hand side. And after we click on identities, we're going to click on our name. And then from here, you just fill out uh, the information. Right here is your signature line. So you can just type in whatever you want there. You can make it an HTML signature if you want to. Um, that just enables you to use like HTML coding in your signature. And then when you're finished, you click Save. Now you'll notice when I go back to my inbox, which by the way you can do by clicking on the round cube icon, and I do a compose email, it inserts my signature. So um, so that's just a couple things. Um, maybe a little bit about navigating around and creating folders. So I like to have my email box pretty, um, pretty organized. Um, and you can see I have a bunch of folders over here, uh, you know, like Fifth Third, Aflac, Cisco. Um, I've, those are subfolders. And then I've got Partners, Belkin, CompuCycle, JDRM, LeaderTech, Ovis, Red River, and then like Project stuff, Camden RX, CBI, Hoover, Liberty Collision, Marcos, uh, Performance Transport. So I got everything really organized over here. Um, and what I can do is to create a new folder. Um, basically, I am just going to, I forget exactly how to do it here. Okay, you click on this little wrench in the lower left-hand corner and then go to Manage Folders. I'll show you that again real quick. Lower left-hand corner, there's a little gear over here. You click on that and then you go to Manage Folders. Now, once you get into that Manage Folder place, um, sorry about that, you can go in and you can just click the plus sign to add a folder. Now, when you do so, it's going to ask you a folder name. We're just going to say Test for right now. And then what's its parent folder? So what folder is it going to be underneath? Um, and you can see I have a lot of folders. So um, maybe I would want this Test folder <coughs> to be underneath of Food and Meals. Um, and then... I would just click save. Okay, and now when I go back to my inbox, you'll see when I go to food and meals, I now have a test folder in here. So that's how you do, you know, how you create folders. So now if I wanted to save an email to that folder, all I have to do is click on it like this and then drag it over there where it says test and let go of it. And it's saved, archived, and organized. Now if I go in there, you'll see it right there. So anyway, that's just a brief tutorial and a quick video on how to use Roundcube Webmail. 
Um, this is John Lay with Tech Force on site, and we do appreciate your business. So um, let us know if you have any other questions. Thank you.